for killing a 10 foot alligator in Lakeview. Well, the gator was captured on a city street in a neighborhood, but the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries euthanized the gator at the scene instead of returning it to a waterway. Certainly been a talker. It's a decision that's blown up on social media. WDSU's Travers Mackle has more from the scene. So this is the spot in Lakeview where the gator was caught and eventually euthanized and killing this alligator sparked a lot of buzz on social media. The Department of Wildlife and Fisheries gave a reason as to why it was done, but some people say they want this looked at even more. The gator was spotted just after 9 a.m. and caught the attention of many in Lakeview. I just was taking a walk and I run into a huge alligator and a mama duck trying to walk her babies back to City Park. NOPD officers called the State Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, who in turn called a trapper. That man captured the gator and later euthanized it. That decision sparked a firestorm on social media. I chaired the Senate Natural Resource Committee, which has oversight over wildlife and fisheries. And caught the attention of former state senator Norby Schaber. It seemed to me like he was just hanging out on the side of the road. If I'm wrong there, then I'm wrong. But it doesn't seem to me like the gator was posing any threat. In particular, a gator that's 10 foot long. That boy's been around for a long, long time. But wildlife and fisheries says the trapper did nothing wrong. A spokesperson says the agency employs about 50 trappers statewide. All are permitted. The agency recommends destroying any gator that's longer than eight feet, but the trapper does have discretion. In this case, LDWF says no one violated any laws or policies by euthanizing the gator, and a 10-footer shouldn't be relocated. When the nuisance hunter gets to the scene, they have protocol that they have to go by. And yes, they make the determination on whether or not it's an animal that should be relocated or not. But some disagree. So I just think it would have been a better thing to do to throw it in the back of the truck and relocate it to maybe a uh, Lake Ponch train or the Moorpar Swamp or something nearby. At this point, it's not known exactly where the gator came from or how it got onto a street in a neighborhood like this. Reporting in Lakeview, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.